And we have 72 design teams. Let's hear the teams. This is the biggest ever, biggest ever Capstone Expo in the history of engineering education in the United States tonight. Basically, this, this product is meant for tetraplegic patients. So they're going to have uh, a small magnet stuck to the tongue, right at the tip of the tongue. And using the, using the magnet and the headset, they're going to uh, send commands to the microcontroller, which, which will send commands to the robotic arm. We made Drum Talk, which is a drum auto transcription song. Basically, it will take the rhythm that you're playing on the drum pad, and it will write them for you. The problem we're dealing with is that skimmers uh, steal your identity by passively reading data on your credit card or your debit card, which is encoded on the card in the magnetic stripe um, longitudinal. So if you were to simply take and turn the card sideways so that the stripe goes in long ways, uh, there's no skimmer that could be made small enough to not be noticed uh, to steal your data. whatever, if you come down to this campus, you will find, and these students can tell you on vacations, they were in the labs, it took all semester, every day to build these, and, you know, creativity is great, but hard work is important. And this is good help, it's a dog training tool to help um, pet owners clicker train their dog. Clicker training is a method of training that utilizes an auditory sound that indicates to the animal when they've done something correctly, and then you give them a treat. There's a Bluetooth sensor attached to the bicycle, and the Bluetooth sensor will send the information about how fast you're pedaling to your phone, and the phone will play a song based off of how fast you're pedaling. It'll help you keep you motivated, and at the end it'll tell you your results, so it'll help tell you how fast you're doing all the time. Oh, it's, it's looking mostly to get into the 10 and under crowd. It'll teach children whether they're hitting in the sweet spot or not. At that young of an age, they may not have the skills to realize the vibrations in the frame if they're getting good hits or not. With this, it will tell them the good hits or the bad hits and give them a positive reinforcement purely on that and not based on their own thing.